uh, you know, if I was going to summarize 2022, I would call it sort of the year of the U.S. dollar. And I think 2023 is shaping up to be the year of gold. Um, you know, uh, the U.S. dollar hit, you know, sort of record highs in terms of valuations. And, uh, uh, you know, we always felt it was unsustainable. And, and I think that that's what's uh, playing out over the last while. You know, a combination of inflation and, and you know, the, the other aspect that I think is playing into this is, is uh, some of the highest uh, purchasing from central banks in terms of uh, swapping out U.S. dollars for gold reserves. Mainly, uh, some concerns about how the U.S. dollar was used in the in the Ukraine-Russia conflict in terms of uh, uh, you know where you know gold you know the U.S. dollar wasn't so apolitical as it uh, as it's generally believed to be. And I think I think that's also uh, driven some interest in terms of moving into the gold space. And so we are seeing record purchases highest ever by central banks over the last six months and continued strength. Right? Not all of them. Who's, who's been doing the buying? And, and just expand a little bit on what, where you see this going, because your underlying implication here is that there's, uh, there's going to be more talk, as we saw from Russia a while back, uh, about using gold in a, in a much more significant way in global transactions or currency activity. Well, and Russia's not the only country that's coming out with that. You're seeing this, uh, you know, everyone, I, you know, there's a lot of countries around the world that are looking for an alternative to the U.S. dollar and, and how to move forward. And we've seen continued weakness in the euro, the pound. Of course, Britain has had its challenges. Uh, the renminbi, you know, with China, there's a lot of challenges between the United States and China and so on. So, so when people go, you know, move away, want to move away from the U.S. dollar, what else is there really in that space? And and I think that's where gold, as a as a constant store of value, it's been there for generations. It'll be there for for thousands of years in the future as a constant uh, store and a measure of value going forward. I think that's what what uh, what people are uh, are are looking for, and that's what the central banks are looking for. So we, you're right, not all of them. I, I'm calling here. You know, I'm I'm in mean, from right. Canada. Canada. Doesn't even have any central reserves in gold. Um, but I would say that Canada probably suffers from piggybacking on the U.S. The U.S. itself, which has the largest gold reserves in the world. And, uh, and I think there's a lot of other countries around the world that are trying to emulate that and trying to build the strength, you know, build on the strength that is behind the U.S. dollar. And that's where we're seeing these purchases.